Hello everybody! In this video we will be looking at the Calpac Terra backpack uh, 26 liters and we will be comparing it to a Patagonia MLC backpack 26 liters as well. I have also packed um, for a trip for five days to see family so we will see how much each of them fit. In my opinion, they are very comparable. We will look at the dimensions as well and we'll see which one is better and which one do you think will suit your needs. Okay, so let's start with the Calpac backpack. This is, as I said, a 26 liter backpack. Uh, it's a carry-on compliant backpack. backpack probably with some companies you might get away with using it as a personal item. Um, I will show you the outside and then we're gonna have a look at the inside and see what I packed. I also did a 10 days uh, trip to Egypt, um, which I packed in this backpack. Um, so you can have a look at the video. I will link it uh, in the description box as well if you want to see how I packed this backpack for a 10 day trip to Egypt. So this will be um, summer or a sun trip. Uh, I packed in this one, I packed winter gear. Uh, as I said, I'm going to see my family for uh, five days. So I didn't pack too many things because I'll have most of it uh, there, but I packed the necessities. So let's have a look at the backpack first. So as I said, it's a 26 liter, um, backpack let's see the dimensions uh when it's packed uh so the width of it is about 20 centimeters which is about eight inches um that's the depth sorry the width is about 32 centimeters which is 12 and a half inches and the height is 48 centimeters, which is 19 inches. I will have a look on the um, uh, Calpac uh, website. I will link the, I will put the link in the description box as well. So you can see, compare uh, whether the dimensions I gave you when it's fully packed compared with the ones on the website. So uh, this backpack can also be uh, transformed into a duffel bag so you can attach it uh, to the hooks over here and you can carry it in a duffel bag. But on the outside, you'll have a handle here and you also have another little um, uh, pocket over here. Uh, you have at the back a pocket just there. And then here is where you hide your backpack straps. They are quite well padded. They connect to these and then that's it, that's your backpack. It has a handle on the top. You can uh, access the your belongings from here, yeah, on the top, or you can open it suitcase style. On this side, just there, it has a little um, pocket. The thing that I like about this backpack is got that it's got it is that it's got this compression straps, uh, so it can cinch your things uh, a little bit more. It also has a lot of organization it has a um, pocket here with a very small pocket there uh, at the moment i have a sleeping mask in there and here it's got another pocket like that i have my phone in there and this one has a lot of organization so it's got two mesh pockets um, another pocket here then the normal pocket and then it has a key leash which you can then you, you can attach your keys and put them there and just on the outside it's got another pocket at the moment i have some gin jeans as i stated, said in my previous videos i don't travel anywhere without the gin jeans here it has a laptop sleeve it's relatively well padded it stays at the back so it's going to be easy to carry here is what i packed for my five day trip back home so we open the straps here and then it opens suitcase style which is what i like which is what everybody seems to like at the moment so on the lid as you were you've got two little pockets here you can put to be honest shoes in here they are big enough to fit shoes i don't have anything at the moment in there and there's a mesh uh, pocket
it here. I have my pouch with jewelry and then I have a battery pack. Yeah. And I have my toothbrush. I showed it in my previous video. It's a Sonicare toothbrush. It's very compact. You can charge it with a USB cable, USB-C cable, and it's uh, very handy. And I have some tissues in there. So that's all I have in this side of the bag. In the interior, I have a travel size version of uh, Rumi Cup. This is one of the things I'm gonna take with me. Uh, this is my cosmetic pouch. As you can see, I don't have a lot of things here. I have deodorant, uh, poopery, if you know, you know. I have a little bit of makeup, styling powder, toothpaste, menstrual cup, uh, Q-tips, uh, makeup remover, some uh, uh, interdental cleaning device uh, devices and uh, perfume. So literally just a necessity. Then in here, uh, this is usually the pouch with the medication. Uh, I've also put some cables in it. If anybody's interested uh, to know what I have in my medication pouch, to be honest, over the years of traveling, we've been through a lot, so this has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, but if anybody's interested, I can add, um, I can do a video just on this. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, here, as I said, I like to play games with the family, so uh, I will travel with this. I'm planning to gift this to a family member. And this is my packing cube with uh, the clothes. I'll show you in a second what I've got in there. Uh, now, coming back to the pack back, as I said, uh, it's got these pockets on this side. Here it has another pocket over here, a mesh pocket, another mesh pocket just here. Remember the uh, pocket I told you at the back, it eats into your main uh, pocket. It has these compression straps. I haven't used them because I haven't packed that much. So that's that. And as I said, the zip to access everything uh, inside from here. So this is basically the backpack. Let's see what I packed. As I said, I'm gonna go for five days. Uh, I'm gonna see family. I literally just need the basics. We're not gonna do anything crazy. We're just gonna spend time. The thing that I like, this is a Patagonia um, packing cube and it opens like that. It's two sides of the packing cube. And I quite like because you can um, split your things. So let's have a look and see what I've got in this packing cube. Um, there are two compartments, one here and each day got a zip closure. Uh, I have one, two, three, four pair of um, socks. I have actually more, but it's in the other side. Here I have a merino wool um, top. It's like that, it's plain, black, simple. And then I have a more sparkly one. If we do anything fancier, I'll be wearing this, it's got beautiful bell sleeve with sparkles so I quite like this. I have a pair of jeans and that's all I have in this side of the packing queue. Let me show you how I pack it. So uh, the jeans are usually packed like that. I put the crotch back in, I fold it in half and then I fold it once and then once again and then it fits nicely there. With the jumpers or the tops I will try to make sure it's the width of the packing cube. So I'll pack it like so. Yeah, and then in half. So then it will fit nicely here. Yeah, and then the other one. Again, same thing. Once the sleeve goes like that, once again, sleeve goes like that and then it folds in and then i put the socks like so on this other side i have uh more socks a bralette more socks on this side i have uh my underwear i have two merino wool uh vests and a cashmere top. 
I packed five pairs of underwear. If I need to wash anything, I will wash it. This one actually fits a lot. Uh, I've packed even for a 10 days for 10 days trip in this packing cube. So this is it. And let's have a look at the Patagonia MLC backpack. This is again a 26 liter backpack. Let's have a look on the outside of it. So this is where you've got your um, straps. You can hide them in here at the moment. They're not hidden. The nice thing about this one is that it's got a trolley sleeve. So if you're uh, if you're traveling with a carry on luggage with a rolly luggage, you can actually attach it to your uh, carry on and it's easier to carry uh, over here just like the other one uh, it has uh, your laptop sleeve but it's slightly different in this case because this is where you've got your so-called admin pocket right so you've got uh, a sleeve for your laptop one for say your ipad and then you have a zip mesh pocket here uh, where you can put whatever you fancy and then two pockets here uh, another pocket here another pocket here one pen slot two pen slots and your key leash so if i were to pack uh, to uh, to pack this side of the bag of the uh, backpack i would put my laptop here and all the little uh, miscellaneous stuff that i had in this one so my toothbrush my uh, battery pack i would pack it over here like that and then i would put my key here there you go uh now uh it also has another a quick access pocket this will eat into your main uh, compartment so that's that it has a handle here it's quite a sturdy handle it's got little loops where you can attach things with carabina this one has a water bottle it's a quite big and quite um, generous water bottle you can fit quite a big water bottle in there i've traveled before with it so uh, and i had a water bottle and it works really well uh, on the outside it's plain it says patagonia here this one is more of a matte material that one is more shiny let's see how this one looks inside so this is it over here it's got two more compartments one two zipped um, and this is your main compartment which unlike the other one the other backpack this one zips up uh, mesh uh, thing and that's it inside there's a little pocket just here and that's it so let's see if the same stuff can go into this backpack. So I had my uh, board game there, packing cube here. Then I have my medicine pouch. I have my cosmetic pouch. And then I'll put this, the jewelry, I'll put it just here, yeah? And the roomy cup, roomy cube. Let's pack it like that and see if I can pack it. As you can tell, I've not packed like this in this backpack before. Usually when I decide what backpack I travel with, I will uh, choose my um, accessories accordingly. So if this this backpack is too big, uh, too bulky for this one, I would probably choose a a flatter one but bigger one and then just stack them on top of each other but i think this will close anyway it's a very generous uh, backpack so that's how it looks it will hold all your stuff in uh, and then whatever you put in your mesh compartment um, you have to be careful because if it's fully packed you won't be able to close it if you pack too much in those uh, mesh in those little pockets so let's close this There we are. So, this is it. This is what I would pack for a five day trip to see family. This fits a lot, is not very. This is how it looks on me. Yeah, this is how it looks on me. 
So depending on the airline you're going with, it may be considered uh, either a personal item or a carry-on. Uh, I used it as both. For one trip, I used it as a carry-on because I didn't have any uh, other luggage. And for one, I used it uh, with a rolly luggage as a, um, a personal item. So check your airline requirements. Once it's packed, the dimensions are as follows. It is yeah, about 20 centimeters or eight inches uh, depth. Width is... 33 or 13 inches 30, 33 centimeters or 13 inches and the depth the, the height is 19 or 49 centimeters so 19 inches or 49 centimeters now you may wonder hang on a second i'm not seeing any uh, shoes. I will only travel with one pair of shoes, which I will be wearing, and uh, my coat will be uh, obviously on me. And this is my um, travel outfit. I have my underwear, socks, trousers, and the top. So this is all I need. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please uh, ask them in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can.